Hello, everybody. Let me make sure that we are live. Just one second before we jump in. All right. So we are live. Hello, Stephanie. How are you? Hey, Andrea. I'm so good. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad to be here. Good, good. I'm really excited to be talking to you today um, about leads because well, leads are so, so, so important in our business. They are the lifeblood of our cash flow. So before we get into all that good stuff, um, Stephanie, would you like to say hello to our um, members and, and tell them a little bit about your company and what you guys do? Sure. So hi, everybody. I'm so glad to be here with you today. So I run a company called Sizzle Force Marketing. We have two divisions in our company, but I want to talk to you today about one of them. It's called Sizzle Force Marketing Academy, and it's what we call DI sort of lie marketing supports. We help small business owners who want to learn how to market their businesses on their own, do it the right way so they get results and avoid spending money that doesn't work. We teach both the owners of the business and in some companies, we actually work with their assistants or other rising stars that they want trained up in marketing. So you can consider us your marketing training team. Awesome. I love that. I love that. Because as business owners, we always want to be, you know, bringing in team members where we can. So we're not trying to do everything on our own. And I know in the beginning, uh, you know, that's harder said than done, but um, such a great um, just acknowledge it and say, hey, this is something that we offer. So I'm really excited. Um, and I asked Stephanie to join me today because we asked in our group a couple weeks ago um, what some of the biggest challenges that the business owners that are in our um, our group are facing. And we put a poll out. And one of the questions that came up as our highest ranking was generating leads for our business. Now, when we talk about um, money secrets of seven figure uh, CEOs, leads are so important. Sales are so important. And so when we look at, um, you know, we've heard me talk about before our cash flow funnel. So at the very top of our funnel is lead generation. And we, you have to have leads coming into your business on a consistent, um, predictable method so that you can forecast your future cash flows and you can plan accordingly. You can hire the right amount of team. You can, um, you know, commit yourself to the different things that you want to do in your business that take financial resources. So that's why I'm really excited to be talking to you, Stephanie, today about leads because everybody has raised their hand and said yes this is something that i need help with and you can definitely fill that need and also just from a cash flow perspective it's the starting point it's where you you need eyeballs on your business to be able to convert them into clients so uh stephanie tell us a little bit about i know you have some awesome stuff to share with the group um and you have some templates and things like that, some resources for them. So I will let you take it away and um, and walk everybody through your magic. All right. Okay. So generating leads, you guys, there are a million different ways that you could generate leads, right? There's so many different things that you could do. That doesn't mean you should be doing all the different things, right? And today, I want to talk with you guys about one of the most effective ways that I've seen to generate leads. And just so you guys know a little bit about where I'm coming from, I've been in marketing since 1995. So it's been 25 years, it'll be 26 next month. And I have marketed huge brands. I've been, I've marketed Starbucks, the NFL, uh, Quicksilver, and the list goes on. But for the last, since 2009, when I opened up my company, been working exclusively with small businesses and at this point we've worked with thousands okay so what i'm going to share with you is stuff that it's not something that is theory it's not something that you know i learned at a marketing seminar last month and now i'm just repeating back to you this is something that is proven and tested 
And I know it works because I've seen it work in my own business and with all of my clients, okay? So the way that we're gonna talk about generating leads today is called a nurture campaign, okay? And so I, I do have a question for you guys. If you are listening to this right now live, I would love for you to jump into the comments if you don't mind and let me know if you are currently running an email marketing campaign of any kind. Um, if you are, fantastic, just put yes in the comments. If you are not, please go ahead and put no, and then if you're feeling courageous on this Monday afternoon, go ahead and tell me why, right? Because, and please don't be embarrassed or ashamed to say why. Maybe it's because you don't know how. Maybe it's because you don't see any value in it. Maybe it's because you hate email, right? Maybe it's because you don't have time. It could be any number of reasons, but the more I know about why it's difficult for you guys, the more I can help you overcome the obstacles and get into a place where we can make this work for you. So I'll just let you guys go ahead and throw up your comments when you're ready. Um, but let's start digging into this topic by discussing what is a nurture campaign and why do you want one, okay? So a nurture campaign is a set of emails that you send in a very strategic, time-sensitive order to a specific audience, okay? So they're usually triggered after somebody joins your email list. And there are a lot of different ways. If you're like, I don't have an email list, Stephanie, <laughs> how do I even start growing an email list? Again, that's another thing where there's a million things you could do, but I'll give you a few quick tips on some ways to get started with this right away if you haven't, or if you do have a list, but it's not big enough, you wanna grow it faster. You know, one way people grow their list is by sharing what we call opt-ins or lead magnets on social media. So they're in members of groups. Maybe you're in a Facebook group, right? Maybe you have a Facebook group like Andrea does, right? Maybe you just post on social media. Maybe you're the Instagram queen, right? Or maybe you've got TikTok just like on fire, right? Whatever it is, doesn't really matter which platform you're in, but typically when people share some sort of free giveaway, which is that lead magnet or opt-in, that becomes the way that they start building their list and social media, okay? Now, what could your lead magnet be? Again, long list of possibilities. But for example, if you run a, a an e-commerce business, I'm sure you guys have all seen this. You go to a website online, you're looking at you know a new top that you wanna get, and up pops something that says, enter your email address and we'll give you 15% off today's order, right? That's what we're talking about. Now, if you run a service-based business, typically it's some intellectual property of yours, right? It's an ebook, it's a, a link to a training you did, it's uh, maybe some sort of cheat sheet that you've created to help people, lots of different options, okay? Other ways that you can um, position this lead magnet out there and start building your list are to add it to your website, right? When someone goes to your website, they should be given multiple opportunities to get whatever it is that you want to give away, right? Um, you can do that in the form of having a pop-up that appears just like those ones that you guys have seen it. You're on a website and poof, poof something happens. There's also something called a page takeover that as the name implies, it literally takes over the page you're looking at. Okay, now sometimes people will tell me, oh, I hate those things, those are so annoying, right? Well, I agree, they are annoying. <laughs> but you know what? They work and that's why people use them. Okay, so having your lead magnet on your site and promoting it on social are a couple of ideas. Also, whenever the world gets back to being a little bit more normal, you can collect emails at an event that you do. I know that Andrea and I happen to sponsor the same events uh, several times 
together. And at her booth or table, if you want to say, it's not really a booth, we have tables, mm -hmm. um, she will have a drawing. And to enter the drawing, they give their email address, right? It's a great way to build up that list and find out who's interested in what you sell. If you speak on stages or you do things like this and you, you know, you do live webinars or you do uh, virtual summits, whatever you want to call them, that's another way to start building that list. Okay, so let's assume at this point you've got the list building happening, right? You've got it started or you've already got a solid list, but maybe you're just not using it. Or maybe you're using it and you're not getting the results that you want from it. But the truth is that getting people on your list is really only half the battle. I don't even know if I would say it's half the battle. I might say it's a third of the battle because when it comes to generating new leads, it's a lot more than just getting names on a list. Just getting names on a list is like, okay, great. You know, I mean, you'll hear people bragging all over social media, like I have 100,000 people on my list or I have 50,000 people on my list. And you're like, the first question that always comes to my mind is really? Well, first, my first question is how often do you clean your clean years old? And have you ever removed all the people who aren't opening things? The second question that comes through my mind is how engaged is that list? When you send emails, are they actually looking at it? Are they reading? Are they clicking? Are they taking any deliberate action that actually matters? Or are you just sending it out to 15,000 ghosts out there in the world? So what we want to do now is take that list and send messages that move them forward into the next step of doing business with you. Okay, so you've got them on the list. You've given them some sort of reason to get on your list, right? And now you need to respond to them. And this is where the we step into the next phase, which I call the convert phase, right? Our goal at this point, after someone has opted into your list, is to convert them into a very low risk offer, okay? Now, this could be a very low priced sale. For example, I'll show you guys this. This is my book, okay? This is one of the things that I use to convert people. I will tell people, you can get this book for, I think it sells for like $14 on Amazon, something like that. But I might sell it for $10. In some cases, I'll give away a digital copy for free, right? I, I play with the pricing. It's my book. I could do whatever I want with it, right? You can too with your own material, right? For others of you, you know, it doesn't really make sense for you to give away something that's $15. What really makes sense based on your business model is to get somebody on the phone. And so you need to understand that a conversion, that initial conversion can either be to a low priced product or it can be getting someone on the phone. Because for many of the people that have higher level offers, getting them on the phone is priceless. Like that is how, where the magic happens. That's where you get to dance and show off all your moves. That's when they get wowed and impressed and they want to know more. Okay, So that is a wonderful conversion. Okay. Once they've made that initial transaction with you, right? Again, either giving you their time or giving you their money, then you drop them into the nurture campaign. Okay. So why a nurture campaign? When you send people a series of targeted emails in a time sensitive manner, it's very strategically planned out, you have the opportunity to build incredible trust with your readers. You have the ability to establish credibility in an incredible way as well, right? You can showcase your services and offers without seeming like a pushy, slimy salesperson. And you can consistently stay in front of people which is perhaps one of the most important things because not everybody is ready to buy the first time they hear from you. 
right? The first time they learn about you, they might be intrigued, but they might not be ready. It might not, ju it's just not the right time. So what do you do? You meet them, you get them all excited about what you do, and then they say, oh, it's not the right time. And then you go radio silent, go MIA, and you leave that money on the table. Or do you find a way to stay in front of them? Well, obviously, we want to go after the latter. We want you to stay in front of them. We want you to nurture these leads. Okay, so that when they are ready, you are the person or your product is the product or your company is the company that they think of when it's time to move forward and use what you're selling. Okay, so if you take this approach, you're not just going to attract leads because attracting leads is great. And I know when I talked to Andrea and I asked her, you know, what are some things that that your network are, are struggling with? And she said, generating leads, right? Generating leads is critical, like she mentioned. But I think if Andrea and I had an honest conversation, I think that we would both agree it's not just about generating leads. It's about generating highly qualified leads, right? Am I right? I mean, are, am I right, Andrea? I almost called you Amanda, my <laughs> my coworker's name. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, you know, you're the as you go through this process of generating leads, you're going to get better and better at targeting those right leads, and which means your marketing dollars um, are going to get even the the ROI on those, the return on investment is going to get better and better. So, yeah, absolutely, Stephanie, I agree with that. Okay, because the last thing that we all want is to get a thousand leads that are unqualified. Because you know what that means? That means a lot of wasted time and energy on your part, following up on people who really aren't going to buy, right? So we're going after highly qualified leads. And this nurture campaign allows us to do that. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what a nurture campaign, what emails are typically included in that. But before I get into that, I do want to touch on some email myths and I want to bust them for you guys. OK, the first thing I want you guys to know is that email marketing is not dead. OK, I hear people say, oh, Nobody reads emails anymore. Oh, every time I get an email, I delete. I unsubscribe. You know, I hate those things. You know, I've heard it all, right? If it wasn't working, the top revenue generating marketers in the world would not be using them. Believe it or not, it is still the number one, number one lead generation strategy. Would you believe that? And there is study after study after study to back it up. Google it. I dare you. OK, so knowing that it is number one, let's think about why that might be. OK, well, how many of you guys have looked at your email today? Raise your hand in your office alone. I can't see you, but <laughs> I trust you're raising your hand. OK, how many of you looked at your email today? How many of you have looked at your email more than once today? Okay. <laughs> email is something that we look at every single day. And many of us look at it every hour, every 10 minutes, right? We look at it all the time. Now, here's something that makes it interesting. Now, social media lead generation is super important and great, right? So I'm not dissing on that at all, because there's a time and a place for that. Mm -hmm. However, email marketing, let me tell you about some of the benefits. You know, when you go on social media, there's this endless scroll, right? And they're just going to keep feeding you more and more and more and more content, because the more content and the longer you're on the platform, the more ads they can show you, the more money they make, right? Email, on the other hand, is not full of the distractions of social media. Right. You're on email to read emails. That's why you're there. You're not getting a game popping up or a quiz popping up. You're not getting, you know, all the, the things that ping and ding and make us like run around like squirrels. Right. It's very focused. You can highly personalize email, but still do it in a way that's totally automated. Right. 
You can also track the efficacy of email so easily, right? If you use a service, we call it an email service provider or an ESP for short. Um, you've probably heard of things like Constant Contact or Infusionsoft, which is now called Keep, or Active Campaign or Entreport, right? There's a, a billion of them out there, right? But when you use a service like this, you know exactly how many people are opening your emails. You know what they're clicking on. You know if they are reading the email and clicking or if they're reading the email and not clicking because the offer didn't appeal to them or it wasn't the right time, right? Email marketing is the best. And if you guys aren't using it, you're leaving money on the table. So um, this message was sponsored by emailmarketing.com, which I don't know what that website is, so don't go look at it. I just made that up. It might be, it might be something bad, so really don't look at it, guys, because I didn't bet that. That was off the top of my head. Bottom line, email marketing works, and it just works, so do it. Okay, let's talk about some of these nurture emails. What kind, what in the world would you email people, you might be thinking? Well, the first email you're going to send to people is the lead magnet delivery and what we call an indoctrination email. Okay, so they have opted in to get whatever freebie you promised them, and now they want to get it. Okay, now there's a couple ways they could receive it by it going um, it immediately the page redirecting to whatever it is that you're giving away. But the way I like to set it up most of the time is where I email it to them, right? I want to get people in the habit of receiving emails from me regularly and opening them regularly because that is how I can continue to stay in front of them as opposed to hoping and praying they come back to my site or whatever and check me out right? It puts me in the driver's seat as opposed to the passenger seat. Okay, so that first email is going to be delivering what it is that you've promised. So, you know, I promise to give you the 10 steps to whatever it is. All right, that first email needs to include the 10 steps. But it also needs to be an indoctrination email. And what I mean by that is it needs to tell people who you are, why they should trust you and what you intend to give to them as a result of being in their inbox and why it's worth their time opening and reading your emails and how this is valuable and you're their ally you're not there to distract them and take them away from the busy things in their life you are there to help them right it's also going to include some basic instructions to make sure they receive your emails. It's going to tell them how to whitelist you, okay? If you guys don't know what that is, basically that's one thing we can do to combat landing in the promotions or spam folder, right? However, unfortunately, some of those folders are really nasty and, or some of those spam filters, I should say, are nasty and mean and they will not let us through. That's just a fact that goes along with the ter territory. But whitelisting is one thing you can do to combat that, right? And then it's going to give them a call to action of some kind, right? So you might be like, huh, that sounds interesting. But what does it look like, Stephanie? Well, I wish I had the time right now to walk you through every step of it, but I don't. I want to respect your time. I know you guys are all really busy, but I'll make you a deal. I do want to give it to you. And here's the best thing is I wrote a template for you guys. And it is the template of the email lead magnet delivery and the indoctrination campaign. Literally, all you have to do to start using it is fill in the blanks. And there's only a handful of blanks. Yeah, that's awesome, Stephanie. Yeah, so I'm going to give that to you guys. Um, you can, if you guys want to get template and trust me it's going to save you so much time and it works like a charm baby we have tested and tested and tested this it works so if you want that template grab your phone and you can text the word template 
okay? Just write the word template and text it to 415-528-7403, okay? Again, 415-528-7403, and you text the word template. We will get it out to you guys tomorrow, okay? And in an ideal world, it should go out immediately, but I'll be honest with you guys, it's Monday and I forgot to set it up. So I'm human too. Okay. Um, once you send that text, you're going to get a message. An automated message is going to come back to you. And it's going to tell you to enter your email address. You have to respond to that or we can't email it to you because we don't know your email address. Okay. So it's a two-step thing. Text the word template to the to 415-528-7403. And then when you get the message back that says, give us your email, you actually give us your email. <laughs> Once we get it, we'll send you the template, okay? So and this, this, is, this is something that I have given to tons and tons of people, and we get just wonderful feedback on it. People are like, oh my gosh, you made it so easy. Okay. Yeah. I think that's great, Stephanie, because especially, you know, for me, I'm a numbers girl. When it comes to writing, you know, things, it's it's not a natural ability for me. So um, I'm thankful I have people like you in my world. That, but for everybody else, um, here's this a great opportunity to get this, you know, fill. it's like a Mad Libs, right? Fill in the mm -hmm. blank and you get this whole um, uh, sequence already written out for you. So that's really cool. Thank you for that. Absolutely. Yeah. So let me talk to you guys. Just let me give you some ideas about some other emails that you would want to send as a part of your nurture campaign. Because again, when you're nurturing people, it's not just one email. Mm -hmm. One email is going to come and go. And if they're not ready, they're not ready and you leave money on the table. So typically we will do these five in order. Okay. And then the rest are all kind of like when appropriate we might throw this or that in, okay? So the five that we'll send, first of all, the lead magnet delivery and indoctrination, which is the template I'm gonna send you. Then it's an email, uh, okay? It's written differently than the indoctrination email, but- Stephanie, I'm not sure, you cut out a little bit for me and, and I'm not sure for everybody else, but just in case, uh -huh. the second email, could you repeat that? Yeah, it's another freebie, okay. right? And, and so it's something else that you are going to offer because we always want to be giving value in advance to people, right? Before we ask them to do business with us, we need to show them that we're worthy of their hard-earned money, right? Mm -hmm. and, and not just assume that because we have something for sale and we have our shame out that they will come. Because, it took, you know, I wish it worked that way, but not really. <laughs> Okay, the next email we will often send out is an FAQ email. And that is where um, we address frequently asked questions that our audience shares with us, right? It's a great way to just educate people and help them to understand more. Hmm. The next email we'll send is usually a case study, right? Some sort of before and after. Before so-and-so worked with us, they were feeling this way. We came in, gave them this product or this service solution, and now they're living happily ever after, right? It's not quite that cheesy, right? But the fourth one is usually a case study before and after of some kind. The fifth one, that's when we go in and we ask for that first sale. Okay, now you might be like, what? I have to send four emails before I ask for the sale? My answer to you is yes, you do. Okay, we live in a very skeptical world right now. Everybody and their brother is trying to sell something to somebody, right? And we're in the age of social proof, right? You need to earn people's trust, right? But if you do it this way, this is how you attract high quality leads. This is how you attract the customers that have money and are willing to part with it, right? Because just because someone has money doesn't mean they're willing to spend it. Right. So there's a bunch of other kinds of emails you could write. I mean, you could write an email where you share 
breaking news in your industry. It could be something about, you know, reminding them that gift you've given them, a free trial is expiring. It might be top lessons that you've learned over so many years of doing X. It could be um, a recommending a tool that you know will help them, right? I mean, there's a bunch of different things. But what's really important right now is for you guys to get those first five done, yeah. okay? So again, if you if you look at the comment there, Amanda, thank you for putting that up there. If you text template to that number, we'll send that to you. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys want help writing the next four emails in that five part series, um, we actually are going to be teaching people how to do that in May. And we would love to invite you to learn with us. You can, you can be in on that training and get those templates too when you join Sizzle Force Marketing Academy. Hmm. And it is a whopping $2.65 a day for you to join for an entire year. Okay, I went out yesterday because I was just curious. I was like, what can you buy for $2.65? First of all, you cannot buy anything at Starbucks for <laughs> apparently, right? I was able to get a little tiny latte for $2.95, okay? Um, and then I went to the grocery store and I was literally going down the aisles trying to find stuff. I found out raspberries are about $2.97, right? <laughs> you can get a package of gumballs, right? So it's $2.00. Yeah, Stephanie, I think... Um I, I love that you said that because when the one of the questions that I get asked a lot, and I do, I've been doing a lot of interviews lately, and they say, what's the one thing that business owners miss the boat on? And I always say this, they don't look at their marketing spend as an asset. They're building an asset. So this nurture sequence that you just walked us through and explained, that's an asset in your business that's going to give you an ROI. So if you look at it costs you and let's just say, for example, Stephanie, if, if I hired your company to write that for me, mm -hmm. how much would that cost? Just round number ballpark. Um, bare minimum $500 for one email. Okay. So if I need the four emails, um, mm -hmm. okay. So now we know how much it's going to cost us to have somebody write this. So that's the cost of the asset. Mm -hmm. You send that out to your list or you send that out to the, the new people that join your list and you get a 10% a return, um, you start to do that over time and look at how much that return on investment compounds. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really important that business owners look at all of these things that they're creating, these marketing assets in their business as something that they expect to generate revenue from. And when they look at it from that uh, perspective, $500 an email doesn't sound crazy, you know, mm -hmm. and, and especially depending on how much your product or service that you're selling it, you know, sell for, you do the math and it makes it a no brainer that every business should have this asset um, in play and generating sales for them. And the other part of that, Stephanie, is that it's kind of like the autopilot part of your sales um, in your business because you don't need somebody there sending, you know, pressing send on all these emails, you can set them up so that they're automatically dripped out um, at, at different intervals. And you've got a, a system now that you can count on to bring in different, uh, a, a stream of revenue for your business. So, yeah. yeah. So when Stephanie says, you can join my academy and learn how to do this for how much did you say? It works out to 265 a day if you join for a year, but if you want to know the math, it's no, the total price for the year. It's $970 to join for the entire year. So, and what are all the things? So I'm just thinking in my head, you just told me it was five hundred dollars per email. I know I need four, so I've already <laughs> Yeah, you've already, already made your money back. Yeah, absolutely. So, and I'm sure there's a ton more of stuff that you're gonna go over. So um, can you walk us through what some of those other marketing items are? Yeah. So every month, my marketing team uh, presents a topic, uh, a marketing topic to you guys, and we break it down into bite-sized pieces. So we tell you what it is, 
why you need to do it, and then we teach you how to do it. And after we teach you how to do it, we provide the accountability to encourage you to actually get it done. Because I don't think any of us really need any more information. We need movement, right? I mean, we all have access at our fingertips to, you could Google anything, right? Reading about something or hearing about something and getting it done are two very, very different things. And if you want to make Andrea happy when she looks at your numbers, you will get stuff done because it will make you money, right? So I'll tell you guys, we've we've had the Academy for about six months. Andrea, is it okay if I tell them what's already in it so they know what they would get if they joined? Yeah, I think this is great because I want you guys to all think about this. As Stephanie's going through this, these are all assets that are going to be revenue generating assets, marketing assets in your business. And so I want you to be creating an inventory as she goes through this list and saying, do I have that? Do I need that? Do I have that? Do I need that? And then you look at um, the ROI that you're going to get by having all of those things versus the cost of what she's offering this for. Um, I mean, it's it's a no brainer. It's tremendous. So, Steph, go ahead. I'm really excited. Okay. So um, we have one training on building a community on social media. So we go over Facebook Business Manager, which if any of you guys ever intend to advertise on Facebook, you better have it or you're going to get in hot water. Right. We get into Facebook groups, how to set them up and how to join them and how to behave within them once you do. We get into engagement hacks. What do you actually share out there that's going to get people to respond as opposed to just sharing and then it's crickets, right? We talk, we have a whole training on going live, right? If you're like, I know I'm supposed to go live. I've heard it's really good, but I'm so scared. I don't know how to do it. We break that down and make it doable for you. We have another segment on blogging. We teach you how to build what we call an editorial calendar. We teach you how to optimize your blogs, which is what you want to do to drive traffic to your website, right? It's free traffic to your website that you do not have to spend ad dollars on. But there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. We tell you the right way. We teach you how to repurpose your blog, right? You, you spend all this time writing one blog, but we want you to create five or 10 additional marketing assets from that one blog. We're gonna show you how to slice and dice it so you can. We're also gonna teach you the anatomy of a well-written blog. So you know exactly what are the parts I need to include. It doesn't matter what I'm blogging about, these are the parts that need to be in there. We've got an entire module on websites, figuring out what platform you should build your website on how to create your website strategy, how to do keyword research so people find you, right? How to identify the pages you really need. And then we do a whole training on how to write an insanely awesome homepage, okay? We have another one and I'm almost done. <laughs> we have a lot of content in this for you guys. We have one on email marketing, right? It has the anatomy of a well-written email. It helps you choose the right email service provider. Should you go with Keep? Should you go with Active Campaign? Should you go with MailChimp? We'll help you figure it out depending on what you're trying to do. We've got another one on social media marketing that helps you determine which platforms you should be on, right? You could be on all four billion that are out there, right? You could be on the big six, as they say, right? The Twitter, the Facebook, the LinkedIn, right? But if you're like most small business owners we talk to, you shouldn't be. You should be on one or two and you should go all in on those one or two. Okay, we help you create a social media editorial calendar, which is knowing what you're gonna post and why, right? Have you ever just like sat down and you're like, I'm supposed to post something, but I don't know what to write, right? I'm gonna help you figure that out. Okay, we do a lot of strategy work. We help you do a competitive analysis so you know why you're better than your competitors. And you are better. You may not know that yet, but I guarantee you, you are better. We'll show you how to figure out how. We help you identify your customer avatar. We help you create your brand voice. We help you grow a community on social media. 
And uh, in May, like I said, we're going to be teaching you how to build that lead magnet we talked about earlier today. We're going to teach you how to create the promotional page that supports that, right? We're going to help you write those four additional emails that I'm not giving you the template to for free. So, I mean, and every month, every single month, there's a new topic where we give you new tools. So when you join now, you get access to the entire library I already told you about, but you also get access to everything that we're going to do for the next 12 months. We have an awesome Facebook group. You can join the community. And if there's something specific you need, that's what we want to create. Okay. So we're going to ask you, what do you need? What marketing things do you feel like you need to explore? Mm -hmm. We're going to create the training so you can do it and do it right. Not fumble around and spend money and time doing things that don't work. Yeah, absolutely. I love that you said spending money and time because those are my two biggest like buttons, right? A lot of times uh, business owners, uh, you know, especially as they're scaling up in their business, they're spending a lot of time and that time could be used for other things in their business to be more profitable, to bring in more sales, to do all these other things uh, that are really important. And I, I just, uh, you know, it keeps going through my head because I'm a numbers girl and I, all the things you listed out, you know, if if I hired you to do those, I'm looking at a marketing budget of, you know, 100K for the yeah. year. You really and if, are. Yeah. And, and if you're not there yet, that's totally OK. You'll be there someday. Right. But until then, learn this stuff now do it, implement it, see the ROI that comes in from it. And, you know, you'll over time. I also say this to, to the business owners that we work with is that you need to know enough about what's happening in all the different divisions of your business so that you can monitor and make sure that you're spending your money wisely. And so this is also a great way as you're scaling up your business to you know dip your toe in and learn a little bit about each to these things that Stephanie and her team are teaching so that you'll have an understanding of the general concepts of them so that when you are ready to hire somebody else to do these things for you, you know what's going on and you know that you're making a good hire and a good decision. So I think all the way around, this is um, definitely something that will just continue to pay dividends. Um, and Steph, I, I think it's so great. I love that you're, you've put this together and um, I think it's, tremendous value. So thank you for sharing it with our group. And also, um, I wanted to also mention that if you decide this is the right thing for you and you want to jump in with Stephanie, if you uh, do the pay in full, we're going to throw in an extra bonus. We're going to give you our fast cash framework where we usually charge. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm excited. I love doing this one too, because I love looking at, um, financial statements for businesses. I know very few people say that, but I love it. And I can look at your financial statements and find you five ways um, to make more money in your business like that. So that's what we're offering. Wow. So if you decide to jump in with Stephanie, we will also throw that in where we will do our fast cash framework um, analysis. And oh look. This is what I usually sell for, Andrea. So typically when we go to, you know, like you mentioned, the, the sponsoring um, event and, and when we're out, we usually sell that for three ninety nine, dollars um, And so you will be getting that for free. You'll also, um, and you get Stephanie's amazing whole year of training stuff. So it's a win-win a and it's definitely, um, it's a no-brainer because I'll find you the money to pay for Stephanie's course. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. So one thing that's super important for everybody to know, we only open up Sizzle Force Marketing Academy a couple of times a year. OK, so the last time we opened, like I talked about earlier, was six months ago. We are open this week only through Friday for enrollment. And then we close the doors and we bolt them shut. And every single time I say something like this, people come back to me like the day after the deadline and say, oh, I got busy. Will you let me in? And I got to tell you, I'm a stickler for integrity. And the answer is no. And oh, because if I do that, then what's the point of giving a deadline? Right. I'm not being true to my word. So you guys have until Friday to sign up for this. Now, it looks like Amanda put the link in there 
so that everybody can go. And if you have to use this link to get Andrea's amazing bonus. Yes. So please use this exact link. Yes. Awesome. Well, Stephanie, thank you so much. I, I think what you're up to is, is so important. And like I said before, you know, the business owners that are in this group, they're here to grow their revenue, be more profitable. And um, in order to do that, you need to build assets. You've heard it everywhere. You're going to hear it here lots of times. Marketing assets are part of um, all of the other assets that you need to be building in your business. And if you don't have the resources or the guide to do that, this is the perfect opportunity for you to jump in. And, um, you know, I've had the pleasure of working with Stephanie for a couple of years now and just can't say enough good things about her and her team. So um, if this is something that is a good fit for you and it's something that you need to build and strengthen in your business, then jump on this one uh, before Friday. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Andrew. This has been fun. Thank you. This was, and it was such good information. So thank you for sharing it with everybody. All right. Have an awesome day, you guys. Bye. Bye.